Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I want to talk about the energy as we're experiencing it uh, right now, as we will experience it as we go forth, uh, with regard to the full moon that we have coming up this weekend, as well as the lunar eclipse, and what we've been experiencing for the last three weeks or so. So whatever we're experiencing now, whatever we're about to experience, has stirred up a lot of uh, different types of energy in the last few weeks. And I'm going to talk about that. But before I go on, I just want to say, I am really sorry that I couldn't get out a an or weekly oracle card reading this week. And I'm sorry I didn't come on and say that I would be getting one out or I wouldn't be getting one out. Um, I just... I shot it and I didn't have any audio to it and then I started having to re-record the audio and channel the audio and it was just such an exhausting process for me that I didn't manage to finish it and this is the reason that you haven't had a an energy um sorry not an energy focus but an oracle an oracle card reading this week uh I I will definitely get one out in the next weeks uh in the next week I mean sorry <laughs> unless something else comes up I hope not and I just want to say also a big shout out to all of those subscribers who've been with me from the beginning and all of the new subscribers who have come to the channel. Um, you will have seen that I've moved the channel away from the general pick a card readings and more towards these type of energy forecasts and pick a card readings. And the reason for that is because it um, it it doesn't um, it takes a, it doesn't take so much of energy for me to do that. And I've just had some ill health in the last few years and and that's the reason that I've I've moved away from doing those uh, pick a card readings uh, as as consistently as I was I do hope to do them again I have some that I have not yet edited that I need to still edit and post out but unfortunately uh, my days are really full at the moment uh, because I have some issues of my health I've had to go for various types of therapies uh, to rehabilitate my myself uh, as well as uh, to, as well as I have this broken hand still, and so the my other shoulders like not functioning properly. So I haven't I haven't been able to to really uh, get on track with what I promised, and I really want to apologize for that as well. I I did hope to get out a few videos for the uh, Christmas season as well as for the New Year, but um, my hand's going to be in a cast for uh, a few more weeks, and then it's going to take a few more weeks thereafter to rehabilitate as well and so I'm it's really difficult right now um being uh, disabled in this temporary manner and and just being able to shoot videos and edit them and just to type or to write or, or anything like that and unfortunately I work alone I do have the assistance of my daughter sometimes but uh she's just nine years old and uh I don't really want to burden her with that kind of stuff and so uh yeah I I will get them out as soon as I can. And I do hope that you stay with me and uh, that you, th th you, yeah, there will be more videos coming out. Like I would like to do more kind of pick a card style readings in the future, as well as um, using different mediums as I have promised to work with I Ching with you as well. And I'd like to do some moon readings as well and some other type of readings too. I find that really interesting. And I, I would also like to do more, um, a kind of vlog style videos or more edited videos as opposed to these kind of pick a card readings that I do where I just place the camera there and record it and edit it and upload it, but more kind of uh, visually stimulating uh, material. Um, but I think that's gonna take a while before I'm, I'm, you know, back on my horse and I'm able to to work in the way that I was, um, a couple of years ago or, yeah. So bear with me I will be with you and I will I would love to pr produce more content more interesting content and content that hopefully will be um, of value to you as you go along and as we all um, proceed in our journey here so I want to begin with the um, with the analysis of the energy as we uh, are experiencing it so the first thing I want to say is that there is a great opportunity to work really deeply right now and really thoroughly um, as you go ahead. Um, I want to say that it's an important time to take that opportunity and to go further and work deeper. So until now, we have been on a particular journey and we've been placed in this pathway. 
to to work through certain things. But right now we are at a point in our journey where we can even go deeper. And the question is, uh, well, are you going to take to go backwards and go back to experiences that have perhaps brought you into the state that you are in right now or that the state that you've been in the last couple of years? Or are you going to go deeper inside of you and recognize what it is that you need to resolve within yourself in order to be able to work forth and and move beyond and actually create a new reality for yourself. So for many of you, um, the, for many of you who this this message would resonate with, right? Um, what you've experienced is you've been going along for several years, but it, there's been a great deal of stress, or things haven't really worked out in the way that you that make, gives you the most amount of fulfillment in your life. And for some of you, it might not have worked out at all. For some of you, you would have definitely gotten some benefit along the way from certain changes that you would have made in the last year or the last two years, the last three years, or even the last six or seven years. Um, or even you could go back and look at it from, say, about 2007, you know, because I think at the end of 2007 is when that energy changed and so you could look at it from that time or you can look at it from 2013 onward or you can look at it from uh, say 2017 onward or from 2018 so it's different cycles uh, you know and it's like uh, rings within rings it's like these cycles within cycles and so these different things would be occurring in a person's life between in those time frames and so you know when you look back at it, you can ask yourself, well, have I, how have I progressed and how have I gone from where I wanted to be at when I, in, from, two, from the late 2000s, 2007 perhaps, or 2005 even, uh, or 2008, uh, how would that, how would I, how far have I come right now to where I need to be and how happy am, am I, how satisfied I am, am I with my life and how, um, how pleased am I with my progress? So it's looking at that. Now, for some of you, you might have made uh, some progress in the last few years and things sort of changed, especially around 2017, 2018. There would have been some changes in, in your life um, and you would have gone in a different direction. And that is something that would have led you to have quite a lot of benefit uh, or quite a lot of knowledge coming your way, quite a lot of spiritual development. You might have um, gained a lot in terms of your well-being. But then, uh, you know, in this year, you might have felt that some of that has fallen away or you haven't been able to actually uh, cash in on all the hard work that you've been doing on yourself or all the, the self-reflection, all the, the spiritual work that you've been doing on yourself. And so the energy right now, it talks about how we can further capitalize on the on the work on the, on ourselves and on our um, self development and how it is that it's important it's like a warning don't fall back don't fall back to where you were don't fall back to where you were five or six years ago or where you were a few years ago because or a few months ago even because uh, you know earlier this year as well uh, or at the end of last year because what's going to happen is that you aren't going to to um, benefit from it. You're just basically going to enter another cycle. And then a few years down the line, you're going to find that, oh, I should have taken these decisions in 2020, at the end of 2020. Or I should have taken that decision at the end of uh, 2018 or 2019 or 2017 or something like this, sometime in this time frame. But actually, I haven't done that. And so now it's come back to, to talk to me. Oh, now uh, it's... Or the other alternative is that it would change the course of your life forever. And in a way that you will, you may find that you will be asking yourself, why didn't you take that action like 20 years from now? Okay, so it's a very important time as far as that is concerned. It's a very important time because you want to really know where you're going and you want to really be happy with where you're headed to and be sure about where you want to go to. And, and that is just, I'm just talking about, you know, what, what's going on within individuals and the individual consciousness as opposed to uh, the, the collective consciousness and how things are working out. And I'll talk about that in a moment. So to describe this fully, it's almost to say, well, look, you've gone through a whole lot, a whole range of um, experiences that you have. And you've been, at many times, the decisions come to you or the the uh, the opportunities come to you to make a decision. And have you made the decision that is 
for your highest good or the, where you are living the most authentic life you can possibly possibly be living or are you following what society expects from you or are you following what you expect from yourself given what society keeps thinks um or thinks or how they what what they expect from you but given you know what you expect from yourself given what society expects from you i hope i am you understand what i'm trying to say so I think that it's a really important time to to work on that and to ask yourself, well, am I really here? You might have been studying for the last 20 years or working in a particular field for the last 20 years. And now you've decided, you know what, uh, or you've decided along the way that, you know, you you might have had thoughts like, oh, am I in the right career? But now it's the time where you might have you might say to yourself, well, actually, you know what? This is not where I actually want to be. And I think I need to go in a different direction, a completely different direction. I need to wipe that slate clean. And, or you might have thought, you know, I belong in this particular place. I've lived here or I've lived there. And uh, these couple of places is where I belong. But this is an opportunity where the slate is wiped clean and you can actually start a whole new life in a very different place altogether. Now, that is also not immediate, but it's almost like it's planting the seeds for it. So this kind of moves that I'm talking about would come about um, next year. Um, I would say from about March to about August will be a really active time for people to make such changes in their lives. However, it is important. Um, this is a warning. and I, I don't want to alarm people, but I also want to say it's really important that you don't fall back where you were, uh, perhaps back where you were in 2016 or 2015. Um, this might refer to people going back to relationships that they were in then and how that will influence their lives. It might also, uh, or opening oneself up and becoming vulnerable to people that have the ability to hurt you and so it's about you know really looking at yourself and looking at which direction am I going to not fooling yourself and going in a particular direction it could also refer to a particular illness that you have had back then something that is within your control um, like something like uh, alcoholism or some kind of addiction or even something like depression, something that's within your control. If you've suffered with that in the last few years of your life, within the last five to six years of your life, or perhaps all your life, and you've made a breakthrough in the last two or three years, or even at least this year, or a few months this year, then it's really important that you watch out for now, that you take care not to fall back into addiction, not to fall back into depression, or not to allow yourself to be uh, pulled in a particular direction that's not healthy for you and not to lie to yourself and say oh, well no it's it's actually okay it's I'm just going to take that one I'm just going to have that one drink I'm just going to have that one shot and I, I'm not going to do it more it's just something that I need now and I'm fulfilling my needs and uh and I'm being you know honest with myself because I feel like there's a bit of discipline that's required right now in order to pull yourself back from that so how else can this apply in your life well if you've been if you had a particular attitude as you've gone along in the last few years and if you've been doing the same thing if you've been pulling yourself back from people if you've been uh moving if you've been feeling like you can't trust people if you've been um in a in a in a kind of situation where you might have not been having good relations with people in the last um in the last years what you might find is that now is a really nice time to be able to change that or you could continue doing the same thing that you've been doing previously and then you're still going to get locked into that it's almost like a train is setting off right now right and uh you've got to decide whether you get on that train or not and there are many trains setting off right now you can decide which train you get on right now and that train you're going to be on for a long long time and i feel like you're going to be on that train for the next 20 years literally or the next 10 years at the very least and I will try and link up a video that I talked to you um up here um in um when was it I think it was around December last year it was an energy forecast and I talked about the decade and the energy of the decade and you you can refer to that as well and and you hear what that had to say and talk about it, it talked I talked very much back then about justice and um and injustice, justice versus injustice, and what it means in the year 2020, as well as 2021 and going forth. And so there's so many different layers and levels in which everything kind of overlaps with each other and intersects in your life. And so what I've talked about until now is simply one's inner being and one's relationship with oneself and how one um, interacts with the world from within, okay? 
Now there's also, there's much more than that, obviously. Um, I, I don't like to talk about these things on this channel, but I would love to talk to, to about them generally. But the reason I don't talk about them is because this is a channel for empowerment and upliftment and, um, and of course, you know, a divinatory um, type of channel, a divining channel rather. And I, I don't really like to talk about politics or anything like that. But it's really important to know that the bandwagon that you're on right now it's going to take you a long way and it can either take you into a form of delusion or it can take you uh, into a space where you truly understand yourself and you understand yourself in the context of other people. So I'll leave that for you to figure out and ask yourself, where do you stand with regard to uh, issues like COVID or where do you stand with uh, regard to things um like uh, like politics you know um there are many countries right now which are having uh, turmoil in their or or disruptions in in their politics um the usa ethiopia um there are many places where that has come to the fore right now and um you know there's obviously all the wars that have been taking place in the last years as well you've got to ask yourself on which side you you stand because what's happening is that energetically speaking there's a great divide taking place and this divide is going to it's partitioning people from people that they love so you might find that you you know you have like arguments with friends or or family members about a particular subject um you, because you don't agree because you have different points to bring to the fore and the only thing i'd like to say is that it's important for you to think very carefully about why you've taken the standpoint that you've taken right now because not all is as it seems as far as what we are told we should believe okay and i i won't go further because i think that um that requi requires another video perhaps and uh yeah and i don't want to be thrown off of youtube <laughs> by talking about this stuff too much so um yeah so so there's this bigger bigger picture right there's this bigger picture and how does the society interact with you how does the restrictions that society places on you impact you and how do you impact yourself and um and how do you enter relationships what is it that you're doing as you enter a relationship and once again we come back to the question is uh, as always it is are we being as authentic as we can possibly be now, to come back to one's own healing and one's transformation, I think that one of the things that this eclipse is bringing up for us at this, this time is to go back, go really right back to your childhood. Uh, uh, for those of you who are older like me, it's going way back. But, the, but, you know, go back to your childhood and see how certain ideas that you have in your life, certain ideas that you hold dear to you have been formed and ask yourself if you still resonate with those ideas. If you have a particular opinion about yourself or about politics, about family, about society, about um, anything for that matter, ask yourself, how is that opinion formed and how is it impacting me right now in my life? Because for some of you, you might find that there are some ghosts that are still lingering in your closet that you need to have cleaned out. There are some things that by which you li live your life uh, that does not belong to you. It might be that somebody said something to you a long, long time ago and that's stayed with you. You know, they might have told you, oh, you can never do that. And so you've chosen to live your life doing that just to prove them wrong. But perhaps you should be doing something else. So perhaps there's something else that you'd be better suited to doing. And so it's something, it's things like that. And now that's just one example. It could be that you felt a certain way because people teased you or people behaved in a certain way around you. And that led you to making decisions in your life where you um, pulled back from people or you were not as trusting as you could have been, or you didn't allow enough love in your life, or you didn't allow love in your life at all because you were not trusting enough. And so it's it's things like this. Um, and the way in which I describe it is quite superficial, you know, but if you have to work with an issue like this for yourself, you're going to find that, that it's going to take you back a long way and that it's going to um, 
almost be like an upheaval of your of your life when you actually address what needs to be addressed in your life. And so this eclipse brings that up. It asks you to look back at your life and ask yourself, who have you become as a result? Of what has occurred in your life? And do you can you track back? How would you have done things differently if that particular incident didn't happen or that particular thing that was said about you um, wasn't said or you reacted differently to whatever was said to you or if people had given you more support or less support if people have treated you differently in your life how would you be right now and also to ask yourself well do I need to continue as I've been doing in the last 10 years or 20 years uh, or do I need to shape my life differently because right now you have the chance to be able to do that so I think you know um, this talks really about how can you shape your life what is it that you can do with your life and how can you make your life different? Now, for those of you who've lost your jobs this year and you've recently had a breakthrough and you've gotten something, I would say um, this is not your end stop and you shouldn't get too comfortable in whatever you're doing because there is more coming your way and there's, you know, you shouldn't block um, the more that's coming your way by becoming too comfortable in your life. Strive harder, strive for more, strive for more authenticity, strive for more love in your life, strive for what you truly believe is yours. Don't give up at this point because it's been such a hard time or you've had economic um, disruptions and it's been difficult. Go further, keep your willpower and let it support you and strive be determined to get where it is that you need to be. And yes, it might not all come together right now. It might only come together sometime in the middle of next year. But, and the reason I say that is because there's very little that's going to happen between now and the end of this year. Um, whatever is happening, it's not happening on the for the individual exactly. It's happening in the where it's affecting us as a collective. And um, I think that continues until about the middle of February or so. And although there can be some changes in people's lives in, in January, but um, I think like for the majority of people, I would say about 80% of the people, most of the changes will take place between March and about June or August, June, July, August, around then. So if you are looking for new opportunities, uh, don't, don't give yourself a hard time if things don't fall in your lap right now. Don't it's, lose faith if things don't fall into your lap right now. Give yourself the space to be able to heal and and um, just leave the past in the past. So it's like, you know, closing a particular chapter and starting a new chapter. And as I was saying, if you've gotten a, a new opportunity recently and you feel like, oh, there's nothing I need to work on or there's nothing, you know, I have closed a chapter already. I want to say look again, because I think that that is going to face every one of us in some way or the other. We're all going to have to make some huge decision before the end of this year as to either what we believe in as to where we are headed as to the home we have we live in as to the job that we do as to how it is that we move forward in this world what is our contribution as we move forward in this world and how does it interact um, or intersect with a greater society and what is expected of us and what is uh, what is yeah what is awaited from us so I think that those are all bigger questions and you know, for some of us, it's more, it has also to do with what people, our peers, our parents think of us and, and we, what do they expect of, of, from us? Uh, not just, you know, extended acquaint, um, extended family or acquaintances or teachers or lecturers or something like that, it, or bosses even. It's something that, um, yeah, it's, it's like everything. Like, what is my contribution to this world? Why am I doing what I'm doing? If, I, if you've been doing something for the last, um, you know, five or seven years and you haven't made any progress with it or you've made very minimal progress with it and you've been having a lot of blockages, a lot of things coming your way, then perhaps it's a moment to take a break and just allow yourself to process all of that until mid next year and so that you can allow yourself to, to recuperate, rejuvenate before you can take on the world again because you need that energy to shift a little bit. You know, you can't keep doing what you're going to do, what you've been doing and expect to have the same, uh, a different outcome. You're going to get the same outcome. That's going to frustrate you and deplete you. And so the idea is to just basically 
uh, go inward, work with yourself, work with who you are, and then come out. When you come out of that, then you'll be in a different space and be able to take on opportunities in a different way. Now, for those of you where things are going on really well and you don't have any of these hassles, you don't have any difficulties in your life right now, everything's going well, it's moving along smoothly, I want to say that it's important for you to look at um, who you are in your relationships with your with your close with people who are close by you, who you are and what you represent, and um, ask yourself if that is who you really are and whether it's who you are meant to be in this world and in this lifetime. Is that what your higher self is asking of you? Is that what your role is here? And um, this is not to stir the pot in any way. It's just that I feel that for those of you where things are moving smoothly, relationships will come into question as well as, um, you know, things like... Um, um, yeah, it's relationships as well as things like looking back at, at people who've passed away in your life, perhaps parents or um, people who've impacted your life and passed away in your life and what relationship uh, that they have with you and you had with them and what is the impact of their them in your life. So it's, it's those kind of questions that will come up for those of you who are pretty much proceeding along uh, without any difficulty and everything's going along smoothly. All right, so I think I've spoken for quite some time now and I think I should end this video. I just want to say I uh, hope that you're all doing well amidst all the um, the difficulties and the, um, the hardship that some of uh, you have experienced in this year. And I just want to say, you know, um, go ahead and and use the meditations that are on the channel that it seems to be become quite popular recently, at least one of them. And take a look at the other meditations if you're needing some kind of support uh, during this time. And um, yeah, I wish you all very well. Stay safe, stay healthy and um, yeah, keep safe. And your weekly oracle card reading will be up next week. Lots of love to you all and many, many blessings.